It's Shadow Strike One here, and I'm here to show you a video today um, because I've had a few friends who have asked me how they can go about getting their Xbox One set up for Twitch so that their stream will include the default audio from in game chat and party chat uh, without any kind of crazy workarounds. Uh, now, you may have seen uh, some professional streamers when they stream Xbox One gameplay, they'll use programs such as uh, Skype or TeamSpeak, something like that. Um, to be able to get their team's chat audio on stream uh, simply because there wasn't really a viable option to be able to get the chat from your Xbox One into the stream so they would use their PC's audio through Skype. Um, other people try to do a workaround by using an Astro splitter uh, which they would then use to uh, split the audio from their controller, the little 2.5 audio cable um, which would have one end go into their mix amp like normal and the other one into their PC. Then they'd use a program like virtual audio cables to take in multiple audio devices and then you'd have to you know mix the levels and it was a little bit screwy. And it's just not worth it um, because now there is a new option thanks to Astro Gaming um, that allow you to easily capture the audio from Xbox One. Uh, and it comes in the form of their new product the A40 TR headset. Um, now TR stands for Tournament Ready. It's Astro's new, um, their new uh, A40 audio system. Um, and how it works uh, is that you can now download a program called the Astro Command Center to adjust a lot of the settings, which we'll get into a little bit later. Um, so first, I'd recommend picking up at least the mix amp if you already have the headset. Um, though the headset is updated, it's very nice. I'd recommend you know just picking that up too, along with it for the good deal that they have going on. Um, so once it comes in, go ahead and uh, hook things up. But first, you're gonna need to update your mix amp. And how you do that do that is that you're gonna download a program called the Astro Command Center, uh, which you can just Google. And it'll bring you to this page. Um, go ahead and click this button here, and it'll download the uh, Command Center for you. Go ahead and go to your downloads, double click it, install it, and fully get into your computer. Um, then go ahead and launch it. I have it pinned here on my uh, taskbar just for ease of access. And you'll be greeted with a message that will say, please connect an Astro gaming device or switch the connector device to PC mode. Now, uh, at this point, you probably got excited when hooked up your mix amp to your Xbox One console. That's actually not what we're going to do right now. At this point, what I'm going to have you do is go ahead and unhook it from your console, and instead, I want you to plug it directly into your computer. Um, this is my uh, A40 TR edition, um, and I'll just go give you a quick little uh, look over of it. Um, right now, uh, I've got the USB cable, which is plugged into my computer. I have a 3.5 audio cable, which is plugged into the stream port which then goes into the PC microphone input on my uh, computer. And then I have the optical cable that goes to my Xbox One. Then this is just for the headset. And this here is the auxiliary port, which I have a cable going into the audio from my PC um, so that the mix amp can get the audio from my PC for things like uh, viewer notifications, or I'm sorry, uh, follower notifications, donations, everything like that, because I like to have that in my headset. Um, so once you have this plugged into your computer, uh, you're going to notice some of these lights kind of come on. And by default, it's going to boot into what is called Xbox mode. And you'll notice that the headset, or the mix amp, has uh, white buttons with a red background on it, uh, on all of them. Uh, that's how you know it's in Xbox mode. To change that, simply hold down the power button for about three seconds and let go and you'll notice that it'll be illuminated as white. I know it's a little bit hard to see on the uh, webcam here um, and now you'll be in PC mode. Um, also for those of you who are interested in getting the PC audio into the auxiliary port um, but don't want to go and uh, you know only have the audio plugged into your mix amp, you also want some speakers, um, there's other options for you like I've got my speakers back there, um, however, I have my audio going from my PC over here into my Chroma keyboard and then I have it going out and I bought a little splitter here 
where I have uh, one go into my speakers and the other one going to my mix amp so that both audio sources can have volume. So if I'm just kind of playing around the computer, I can just have my speakers. Or if I'm, you know, gaming, I turn on my speakers and just do my uh, volume through my mix amp. So uh, now that we've got that all set up, we're going to go ahead and go back to the computer. And now you'll notice that uh, a new screen's popped up. And this is the Astro Command Center. Um, on the first page, you're going to be able to go ahead and adjust several of the settings. These are uh, different audio settings. I'd recommend just leaving them alone for right now. Um, I personally use the tournament edition, or I'm sorry, the tournament setting, because it focuses on more of the important things like uh, footsteps and lower some of the less needed sounds. So uh, moving forward, the main thing you're going to mess around with is going to be the stream port. No, uh, one thing I might have forgotten. If you, uh, if this is the first time you're plugging your mix amp into the uh, command center, or maybe it's just been a while since you started it up, chances are there's going to be an update for your mix amp. It's very important that you go ahead and let your mix amp update uh, and keep up to date with whatever things Astro is adding. Um, there's a very good chance you're going to have an update. I bought my mix amp two weeks ago, and in that time I already had two updates. Um, if you don't see an update, just make sure under the settings that uh, you have this button checked here that says check for firmware updates automatically. So now that you've got your update, your uh, mix amp all updated, uh, go ahead and click the stream port icon here. And right away you're going to see some of these uh, levels kind of all over the place. And these are going to be all the different options you have going towards the stream port. Um, the game option is going to be the game audio. Uh, which is going to be all the game sounds, explosions, gunshots, all of that. Chat audio is going to be uh, exactly that, the incoming chat audio from the game. That will be in-game chat, private chats, everything like that. Um, the microphone, which is going to be your actual microphone of the A40 headset. Um, so this is really good for uh, streamers who don't have an external microphone. Um, a lot of professional streamers use an external microphone. Um, I personally use the Blue Yeti. Um, but some people, maybe be a startup streamer, um, you don't have an external microphone just yet, and you might be wanting to stream using your headset uh, as well as just talking in-game. Um, if that's the case, you're going to kind of want to leave this a little bit higher than your chat audio. Uh, the aux option is going to be exactly that, whatever you have plugged into the auxiliary port of your mix amp. Um, since I have my PC plugged in there and my stream already picks up my PC audio, I don't need that coming through twice. So I go ahead and bring that all the way down. Uh, for the game audio, if you use any kind of current capture card, um, be it you know the Elgato HD60, um, one of the Evermedia products, uh, I use the Evermedia uh, Extreme Cap U3 uh, because it is the only USB 3.0, uh, 60 frames per second at 1080p, uh, enabled device, which is uh, really good for reducing uh, lag, because uh, some people that might use a uh, lower device, whatever they stream, uh, will sometimes come up, you know, a good 20, 30 seconds after they're actually doing it. Uh, so anything you use to speed that up is really good. So uh, back on topic, uh, if you use any kind of current uh, capture card, chances are you're bringing the audio through the HDMI cable you don't need to have extra game audio coming through the stream port. So go ahead and bring this completely down and then again back to the microphone. This is really going to be up to you if you have an external microphone um, that you're going to use to talk to your audience while streaming. Uh, go ahead and bring this all the way down. If you don't have an external microphone and want to chat with your audience um, with your A40 headset, uh, go ahead and leave this somewhere up. I recommend a little bit higher than your chat audio. Because uh, chances are, while well, it's really good to hear your uh, teammates, your stream really wants to hear you more than anything else. Um, before anyone asks uh, what are some of the advantages to using an external microphone, um, the main thing would be sometimes when streamers are uh, streaming on Twitch or MLG.TV or YouTube, they want to talk with just their stream without bugging their teammates. In that instance, they'll go ahead and uh, mute their in-game microphone um, which in this case would also mute this uh, option from coming through your stream. So if you just use the headset to stream, uh, your teammates are going to hear everything you say to your stream, uh, which might be a little bit annoying to them. So 
if you have the ability to try to get an external microphone. I do, so I'm going to go ahead and bring this all the way down. At this point, you go ahead and click Sync to Device, and it'll ask you to uh, make sure, are you, know, are you sure you want to do this? Uh, it's going to go ahead and you know change some settings like this. You're going to go ahead and click Yes. Since I already have it set like this, I'm going to go ahead and click Now. Um, if you are interested in some more things here on the Command Center, uh, the only other options really to mess around with is either the Startup Mode, which will let you uh, choose to start up in console mode or PC mode. Um, since chances are you're watching this video because you're trying to stream your Xbox One, you want to leave it on console mode. For your microphone, um, there's a few different settings to change. There's your noise gate, uh, which is pretty much the point at which your microphone is picks up audio. Um, a noise gate is kind of like a limit that the audio has to reach before your microphone pretty much unmutes itself and starts capturing audio. Um, there's three different options. There's streaming, which has the lowest noise gate. Um, it's really good for, uh, you know, just being at home by yourself, no really ambient noises coming around, no family members, anything like that. Um, the difference is that uh, it's going to pick up pretty much anything that you say, um, which in, it can also be, you know, if you're a heavy breather, it can pick that up. Um, so, unless you're really planning on using your headset to stream, I'd recommend sticking with the home setting, which has a medium noise gate. It'll cut out a lot of uh, just random noises around the room and uh, really just focus in on whenever you are actually talking. Um, tournament is really only needed if you are going to a tournament. This has a very high noise gate. It's made for tournaments when there's you know people in the crowd yelling and screaming and you don't need to have that all picked up by your headset. Um, so unless you're going to a tournament, just leave it on home. Um, the USB mic level, this is going to be the level at which your audio is outputted to your teammates. Uh, they recommend just keeping it at the max level, uh, which I do as well. You know, your teammates can go ahead and lower their volume if they need. Um, the side tone is going to be the audio that you hear back in your headset. Um, it kind of like plays the audio that you are saying back to you so you know, uh, you know what you are saying. It's not going to you know, completely close you off to the world. Um, it'll also let you kind of know how loud you're being. So go ahead and set that to whatever you want. Um, I kind of put it just down here, but that's something you're going to mess around with a little bit. Then go ahead and sync the device. Now, now that you've got that all synced to your device, you're going to want to go back into console mode uh, by going ahead over to your mix amp and holding that power button. I'll show you one more time. So back over to our mix amp. Uh, at this point, you're going to go ahead and unplug the USB cable from your PC and plug it into your Xbox One console. Um, at this point, uh, you're going to go ahead and have your console on, and then go ahead and hold, it should probably power up right into console mode. If not, go ahead and power it off, power it back on, it'll boot back into console mode. You'll have the uh, red circles all around it, and you'll be good to go. Your, con your Xbox One will see it as USB headset, and uh, you'll be good to start things off. So going back to our computer, I'm going to show you some settings you're now going to have to edit. Um, I'm going to assume that you're using a program called Open Broadcaster Software. Um, this is a free streaming software. Um, I'm sorry for the little bit of uh, mirror image we have here, but I'm currently using OBS to record this because it's really easy to switch between webcam and uh, the monitor capture. But uh, what you're going to do is download a new plugin that's going to be called the Direct Audio Source Plugin. Uh, just go ahead and Google that, uh, and it'll bring you to a page with a, a link to go and download it, and it'll bring you to a page like this. Um, at this point, scroll down to the bottom, and you're going to either need to download the 32-bit version or the 64-bit version, depending on which type of uh, which version of uh, OBS you're using. Uh, I personally use the 64-bit version, so that's the one I downloaded. So now that you've got it uh, downloaded, you're going to have a uh, zip folder like this. Go ahead and you know, right-click, extract it, and you're going to have a folder that will look like this. Open it up, and you're going to see a folder and a .dll. Go ahead and copy both of those. Go to your documents or wherever you have OBS installed. Uh, mine's in this little folder that says 64-bit, and then you're going to find a, uh, yours might, just so you know, yours might be in your C drive under program files, something like that. 
Um, I just kept mine in my documents. Um, but now that you're into the folder where OBS is installed, you're going to look for a folder that'll say plugins. Double click that and then right click and paste um, the, two, uh, the two files in here. Then at that point go ahead and uh, close OBS or if you had it open. Um, if not just open OBS and then open up your plugins folder and you should see a new plugin called Direct Show Audio Source Plugin. Um, at this point, uh, something you want to do is go to your scene where you have your console capture and you're going to need to add a new source. Go ahead and right click, go to add, and now go down to Direct Show Audio Source. Click that and name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it uh, Xbox Chat. Click OK. And in this new screen, you're going to be able to select uh, the audio device. Uh, remember how I had said that I went and plugged the uh, stream port from the mix amp into the back PC audio imp or the microphone input on my PC? You're going to need to select that input. So I know I've got a lot of things here. You're going to have a lot less than me. I just have a lot of different sound cards and things I've plugged in over the years that's just all installed here. But you're going to need to find something that'll probably say the microphone Realtek high definition audio. Um, it might say something like that. It might say uh, more like a microphone input, something like that. But this is kind of what you're going to look for. Click that. And immediately it'll brought you up with uh, the new audio settings. Now, uh, a very important thing to first do is go ahead and click this little button here that says output audio to stream only. This means that <coughs> pretty much uh, the stream out output will not go through your computer, it won't play through twice, uh, anything like that. It's going to only output to your stream. Um, also, you're going to go ahead and change this audio a little bit so it's not too overwhelming. Um, if you ever have anybody complain uh, about your teammate's uh, voice being too quiet or too loud, you can reopen this scene and adjust the audio settings. I would recommend bringing it down to about 84-85% and clicking OK. Uh, at this point, you're going to need to also edit the uh, levels of your game audio and your microphone audio. Um, for your game audio, you can just go to your uh, scene for your console, go to properties, and adjust the audio. Um, some games just play louder than others. Um, Halo, uh, Halo 5, for example, is actually a very loud game. Um, a lot of streamers are finding they have to lower their game audio uh, to compensate for this. And to do that, you can just drag this down. For Halo 4, I recommend somewhere around like 45. Um, you know, 45 to 50, some around here, you're going to want to play around with it a little bit. And then uh, click OK, and then you can also adjust this level here. Uh, I keep it down to about 50 as well. But that's something you want to mess around with a little bit more. You can also adjust your microphone volume, talk with your stream, see what works out. Um, at this point, uh, whenever you stream, you're going to have the audio source coming in from both your console as well as a new audio source that will be coming in from your stream out port. And uh, go ahead and test it out with a, you know, a message with your friends. Uh, try doing some recording um, before you go and stream to try to adjust the levels a little bit. And uh, from this point on, you're going to have chat audio coming through uh, your stream. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment if this helped you out at all. Please leave it a like, please share it with your friends, uh, anything like that, I would really appreciate it. Um, and if there's any troubles, please drop me a comment down in the video, below the video, and I'll try to get to you as soon as I can. Um, I try to help out uh, as much as possible. Uh, so again, this is Shadow Strike 1, and uh, happy streaming!